Line looks good at the 1,200 metres. Edgy, Mutiny, they steady, they jump. Oh, go Barney, go. He missed the start clearly and debating was the first to bounce out. Beginning nicely erroneous and enough red's going to slot into a nice spot on settling down. Getting back off those then was Magazine. Settling back in fifth spot now was Mutiny getting into a nice bit of cover there, just midfield. And then Proclisi two lengths away. Gelati getting a reminder early on from Palantino Rossi second and last. And Go Barney Go the last one. 700 to go. The leader debating just shows the way narrowly over Erroneous the outside. Enough red third the inside. And then Magazine off the back. A length and a half back in the field. Mutiny ridden quite and starts to pick up. Being tracked up by Proclisi. Two lengths back then in the field. Gelati Go Barney Go. Palantino Rossi. They work towards the 400 and debating just the leader over Aronius who continues to apply the pressure. Enough Reds working to third the outside. Two lengths to Mutiny staying to the inside. Proclisi heading the rest and now starting to get out into clear running. They straight and 2.50 to go and debating how to turn a foot. Put two lengths on Enough Red who gets out of the pack with Mutiny. Proclisi's battling along with Aronius but debating at the 100 metre mark looks to hold him. Mutiny tries hard. Proclisi gets up on the inside. The leader debating's in trouble. Mutiny's going to dive and get it. Yes, Mutiny right on the line in the last stride. Beats debating, third Proclisi and then Erroneous, Palantino Rossi's picked up a bit of late ground from enough Red Gelata and go Barney go, back towards the toll with Magazine, stand by here for the number Mutiny really just working through the gears in the concluding stages Debating had just put a couple of links on him at the top of the straight and looked at the 100 metre mark to be doing enough but when Jared Todd just tried to get a little bit more out of him he just battle to the line and Mutiny who's coming off solid form up in class before going back to maiden class last time out has arrived here in race number one on the card. Number three Mutiny, Jade Hampson first in the last bounds. Second should go to debating number six, three beats six as these interim numbers start to filter through and looks like Proclisi 10 should get up and run fourth in front of a, a line of them there for that minor end of the prize but it was a long head in the end. And 3610 interims confirmed. The winner three mutiny is a four year old brown gelding, extravagant, snips birth for Dick Leach, Britain Racing, managed by Phil Britton and G. McMahon in the ownership, trained by Dick Leach. And Jade Hampson has uh, got the first winner here this afternoon. And Jade goes out in an $8 chance today in the Jockey Challenge and only four races. Yeah, not going to be too far away. Second goes to, no, margins confirmed. Long head by two and three quarters. Second goes to six debating, a three year old bay gelding, a reward for efforts set to talk. Ella Clark, Jared Todd, looked home, just got nutted late, and third went to 10, and that was Proclisi working home late, a five-year-old bay mare, scissor kick, ocean challenger, Phil Cole, Emma Lyons. Now fourth has gone to seven, erroneous, and maybe fifth has gone to one, and that was enough red, but that semaphore board is uh, just playing a few tricks there. We'll go with three, six, 10, seven, one, interim numbers confirmed on race one as the winner returned. In the former mutiny, certainly deserved the win coming off solid recent form and gets the first win here this afternoon. We stand by for correct weight.